All right, dear students, we are back with another session of our online class. Uh, we are still in optics, and I already sent some notes in the previous class, and I do hope that you have already uh, gone through the notes. And uh, today's class will be focusing on derivation. The first one is the lens formula. So let me write the topic here, lens. So lens means a piece of transparent material and it should be bounded by at least two refracting surfaces like this one is a refracting surface. And this should be a transparent material like it can be glass of different quantities I mean sorry uh, different qualities I mean or it can be plastic okay so this piece of transparent material which is bounded by two refracting surfaces this is what we call as a lens. So now we'll be deriving the lens formula. The lens formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. This formula will be deriving in today's class. Okay, to derive this, we need to draw one ray diagram. So this is the lens, for example. This is the principal axis that passes through center of the lens and let us say this is the center of the lens C here you have to keep the object AB is the object and you draw the ray diagram that shows the image formation then you can draw another parallel line and refraction occurs after refraction these two rays intersect here and at the point of intersection the image will be formed AB is the object so it should be A dash B dash here and this will be focus and just for the sake of simplification, you can call it as D. So AB is the object. Object distance we denote it by U. And A dash, B dash is the image, which is magnified, real, and inverted. So this image distance, we will call it as V for image distance. So this is the ray diagram we need for derivation of the lens formula. Okay, for derivation, first let us focus on the triangle ABC. And you have another similar triangle. That is A dash, C, B dash here. So in this triangle, in triangles, one is, you can take in the same order here, say A, B, C, and another one is A dash, B dash, C. In these two triangles, let us compare the two triangles, which are similar. Height of the triangle is AB it should be divided by height of the other triangle. This is B dias, A dias. Make sure you apply the sign convention. When you apply sign convention, height should be measured starting from the principal axis, like AB. It should not be measured as BA. Here also, all the measurements should be done from the principal axis. In this order, that is B dash A dash here. So I write in this way 
this is equal to now you compare the base of the triangle so for your confidence you can write as CA divided by the other base of the triangle A dash B dash C so you can write C B dash okay this is our first equation then if we observe again we have got another triangle here so the triangle is CDF so in triangles CDF and another one here CDF similar to this is say B dias A dias F here so you can write B dias A dias F I'm going to compare these two triangles one is CDF the other is B dias A dias F here this triangle and here I'm going to compare so you apply the same comparison formula you can write CD that is the height of the triangle CD divided by B does A does this is again equal to CF for the base of the triangle similarly the base for the other triangle is F B does okay and if you look at the figure AB is exactly equal to CD because these two rays are parallel so CD will be replaced by AB therefore this can be written as AB divided by B does A does here this is equal to CF divided by F B does here let me call it equation number two looking at these two equations one and two the left hand sides are equal so right hand sides also must be equal so you can write CA divided by CB does this is equal to CF divided by F B does which is equal to CF if you look at the diagram F for the focus this is focus distance between focus and the, and the center of the lens we call it as focal length so let me just write again one more time CF divided by F B dash to find F B dash to find this F B dash first you go to this which is C B dash C B dash minus CF F B dash uh, this is equal to C B dash minus C F then we'll start applying sign conventions on this measurement so let us see how do we apply the sign convention C A stands for object distance as a rule we always start measurement from the center of the lens so the measurement is CA in this direction however the light it goes it goes from the light ray it goes from left to right which is against therefore this measurement of object distance CA should be taken as minus this is U this is from sign convention and uh, CB dash this is equal to V but CB dash should be positive because measurement of CB dash that is starting from the center of the lens it is in the same direction as the incident ray that's why 
it should be positive. So you can write positive. CF. CF is equal to F, which is again positive. CB does. Sorry, okay. CB does. CF. CA is okay. So now let us substitute all these values in this equation. So CA can be written as minus U divided by CB dash. CB dash will be V, which is equal to CF is F divided by CB dash. This is V followed by minus CF. CF is equal to F here. Then we will do cross multiplication. On doing cross multiplication, minus U, V minus F, this is equal to VF. Open the bracket. On opening the bracket, you have UV plus UF, which is equal to VF. Dividing on both sides by UVF, we will divide by U, V, and F. Here, I'll divide by U, V, F. Here also, U, V, F. Here also, U, V, F. On division by U, V, F on both sides, let us see what you get. U, U, cancel. V, V, cancel. So only 1 by F is left. Plus, U, U, cancel. F, F, cancel. 1 by V is left, which is equal to V, V, cancel. F, F, cancel. 1 by U is left. Therefore, transferring this on the other side and keeping this one as before, 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F here. So this is your lens formula. So let us not forget this. Okay. This formula will be useful when we derive the lens maker's formula. And the lens maker's formula I will be deriving in the uh, next class. So just for today, uh, I am deriving this much. And for the lens maker's formula, we'll see the derivation in the next class again.